What's up team, Matt here with your short ab work. Today, it's all about plank, focusing on stabilizing the spine. Now, before you think, oh, it's just planks, whatever, this is gonna be a hard and challenging class. Trust me, I'm gonna make this very effective when we think about plank. So, all you need for this workout is nothing but your body. I'll meet you right back here on the mat. Team, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off in a plank, a forearm plank position. So let's work our way down to the mat, all right? We'll talk through it and then we'll make it really effective. Now, I want you to think about the plank being one of the harder movements when you first get into it and I'll explain why. So let's get down, forearms parallel to each other, palms flat on the ground, that's a must. Shoulders over your elbows and bring your feet together, hips, shoulders, heels in line. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. So let's talk about this plank. I want you to push your elbows into the ground, right? Protract your shoulders, driving the body away. Squeeze your glutes in her thighs, tuck those hips under. And now I want you to pull your elbows and your toes together. Now you should start to feel a little shaking in the midline, that's good. Pull a little bit tighter, pull a little bit harder. Now I said the first 10 seconds should be really tough, yes. These first 10 seconds should be really tough because we're actively engaging in this plank. If you can tell, you can hear it in my voice, I'm shaking, man. Come on, you got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna flip it over onto our back now. We're gonna go into a different style of a plank. It's gonna be a hip bridge, all right? So laying flat on our back, meet me here, feet gra grounded. We're gonna take our middle fingers and touch our heels. That's how we're gonna know we're in the right position. We're gonna lift our hips up in three, two, one, let's go. So rib cage tucked down, glutes are tight, hips are up, weights through the heels, pressing her upper back into the floor. And we're gonna walk her heels out just a little bit. Out, out, in, in. All right, so now you must be thinking like, Matt, this is not like a plank. When I think of plank, it was like the other movement. Exactly, it's gonna be like a reverse plank. We're focusing on the back side of our body being able to stabilize the spine versus the front side. We got about five seconds here in four, in three, two, one, and rest. All right, 15 seconds, we're gonna flip it over and go right back to the forearm plank, and we're gonna alternate for a couple more rounds here. So let's dive right back into that forearm plank in three, two, one, let's go. Now, you may have heard me say it once before, maybe not, but the plank should be a really hard position to hold within the first 10 seconds, all right? And I'll say this over and over, holding a plank for five minutes, yeah, that's cool, but it's not that effective. We really want to think about engaging each muscle, so really squeeze as tight as you can once you get right into it. That last 10 seconds should not be easy. You got four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. All right, we're gonna flip it back over, back to that hip bridge. Now, I want you to walk your feet a little bit further this time. Each time we're walking out a little bit further, so when you're ready, Let's dive back into it in three, two, one. Hips are up, rib cages down, core is tight, and we just walk it out. Toes off the ground, heels planted. Out, out, in, in. Each time we're walking out further, driving those hips up a little bit higher, staying a little bit tighter. Good, we got just about 10 more seconds. Each time I want you to challenge how far you extend those legs. Those glutes and hammies should be lighting up. Now, again, it's all about stabilizing the spine, and the hips and the glutes are what stabilize the spine. You got three, two, one, and rest. Without strong hips, we have a weak core. So again, that's why we're adding this exercise into this set. Flip it back over last round, we have that plank hold. Here we go, in four, three, two, one, let's get it. All right, again, pushing those elbows into the ground, pulling the toes and the knees, the elbows together, and we're just squeezing, team. 30 seconds, you've been here twice. Just push through the floor, nice and tight. Good, breathe through it. You got less than 15 now, hold strong. Pull those elbows and toes a little bit together, a little bit tighter. You got five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, team, last set here. All I want you to do is walk your heels out as far as you can with keeping your hips up and then repeat that process. We've already done it twice. All we're doing is adding a little more length in that walkout. Let's go for it. Here we go. In three, two, one. Hips are up. 
Let's get it. Now, I'm going to tell you this now. Put your thumbs right under the lower back. It's going to be a little marker. What it's going to do is remind you of pushing your hips up. If you feel your hips drop into your thumbs, that means you're not extending that hip high enough, right? So I want you to keep this as a little mental cue. Focus on keeping those hips high. Woo. Feel free to hold out at the bottom, you know, get long, it's strong. You got five, four, three, two, one, and time. Team, that's right off the board. You're going to stay right on the ground. We're going to go right into a side plank. Now, we've done side planks before with different variations. This one, we're just going to focus on keeping the hips up. We're going to activate first. We're going to go for 90 seconds straight through. We're going to go side plank right. Side plank left, flip it over onto our hands and our knees, all right? So join me on your right side, side plank, elbow on the floor. Heels are stacked, hips are coming up in three, two, one, let's go. All right, so the plank hold, very static position, right? Not too dynamic of a movement. It's kind of, some people are kind of bored in it, but we do things to make it interesting. How do we do that? Well, check this out. You're going to join me, dip your hip an inch below and an inch above. So we dip it down an inch, we pull it up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch, right? We add a little hip dip. What this is gonna do, start to fire up that oblique, activate a little bit more, make it not so boring, right? We can just hold a plank all day, it's kind of boring. Well, make it fun, have fun with the team. Create little games with yourself to make things challenging. We're gonna flip it over in three, two, one. You roll over, I'm gonna do a quick switch, right back into it, hips are up. Once you find that plank, then you dip. When I dip, you dip. Boom, boom, and I'm not gonna stop, so you keep moving. Let's go, 15 seconds. We're gonna go right into a hands and knee or a bear crawl position. Get ready for it. You're gonna join me in five, four, three, two, and one. Toes tuck, shoulders over wrists, knees are under our hips. We're gonna lift our knees about an inch off the ground. First round, we're just gonna hold here. Good, so again, shoulders over wrists. Press the ground away from the floor. Squeeze your glutes under. Knees are hovering off the ground. Just about an inch. Just hold it. You got 10 seconds. We're going to take a quick little break, and we're going right back to the top in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Now, team, the biggest thing with that bear crawl, again, you're going to be like, Matt, why are we doing this? I'm going to walk around like a bear. You're right. You're not. But if you're playing with your kids, you're doing gardening work, you're on your hands and your knees doing something on the floor, this is all functional movement that translates to everyday life, and that's what we're doing here. We're focusing on longevity, team. Ten seconds, you're going back to that side plank, building those obliques. Let's get this work. Here we go in three, two, one. Hips are back up. Now, you've already been here once. I want you to challenge your dip. Can you get your hips a little bit closer to the ground? Drive them up a little bit higher without bending our knees. Oh yeah. There you go, a little bit longer of a range, gonna build a little bit more of a burn. And that's what we're looking for. Burn that muscle out, get in this ab work, in a sense of a non-functional, or a very functional way, but a non-conventional way through those planks. We got three, two, one, quick flip over. Whew. Nothing like the little, little, the little dip. The dip creates the, the focus of the movement, right? We can really tell what we're targeting, especially when we drive that hip up. When you really hit the top end of that range, you really start to understand the muscles we're targeting. 10 seconds. Hold strong. Come on. Keep that hip high. Hip high. Squeeze. You got five seconds. You're rolling over. Back to that bear crawl in four, three, two, one, and let's go. So we were already at level one, round one, right? If you're ready for it, if you're ready for it, level two, we add the extension, arm and leg, nice and long, nice and controlled. Hips and shoulders don't rock. I want you to think if there's a glass of water on your back, the only glass of water you're going to get this whole workout. So if you spill it, you ain't drinking no water after this, all right, team? So think about that. That's how stable and controlled our hips are. We don't want this rock, right? Nice and long, nice and strong. You got five, four, three, two, and rest. Whew. One and done, team. You know how we do it. We do things three times. First time, understand it. Second time, get used to it, challenge it. Third time, we're going above and beyond. There's no excuse on this round, right? Last round here. Let's get to that side plank. Hips are coming up in three, in two, one. Let's go. Now, I want that hip to almost touch the ground, not touching, just about, and then force it up and hold. Now the top part, 
We're gonna push, 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 push. Dip it right back down. Pressing up, hold, dip, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Right back down. Good, 15 more seconds here. This is what it's all about. The hips are extended, the thighs are tight, rib cage is pulled in. Allowing those hips to drive up and down with a straight leg. We're switching other side in five, in four, in three, two, one, let's go. It's right before you're about to burn out, right before you're about to be like, ah, I can't do it. That's when it's all over. We want to hold on for a second or two longer, team. That's what it's all about. Making ourselves get uncomfortable and just holding on for that second longer good. Again, we dip down, we push up and hold, 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 drop back down. <sighs> Squeeze up, 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 up. We're almost there. Lesson 10, back to that bird dog or bear crawl hold with the bird dog extension. In three, two, one, let's go. Hands and knees. Again, if you're there, you're gonna take those arms and extend, great. If not, we're gonna hold. <sighs> Woo. Again, pushing those hands into the ground. You're right there, last 15. We got a little AMRAP coming your way. So get, hold on to these 30 seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, team, I shorted you right there. I shorted you a little bit. All right, I came out early. It's all right, it's all right. I'm just gonna guide you along in this next set. So check this out. We're gonna go one minute intervals. All right, we're gonna create a ladder here. We're gonna do as many rounds as possible over one minute. So we're gonna have a couple of different sets of this. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna go one inch worm. So to the back of our mat, soft bend in the knee, we walk it out, high plank, four plank jacks, one, two, three, four, four mountain climber, one, two, three, four, walk it right back in, stand it up, that's one. All right, you're gonna join me, let's go. High plank position in three, two, one, walk it out, high plank, shoulders over wrists, thighs and glutes are tight here, four jacks, one, two, three, four mountain climber, we walk it in, we walk it up. You got about 30 seconds, team, to continue repeating this pattern. Now, very dynamic here. We're gonna start to build a heart rate. We're going from a standing to a lower position. As we walk out, we're focusing on not rocking the hips. Again, stabilize that midline. Our oblique